Co-authorship is when two or more researchers collaborate on a published academic article. While this is normal in the sciences and medicine, in the humanities and social sciences, co-authorship has not been as common. We recently carried out a survey of humanities and social science researchers from around the world to find out how frequent co-authorship is today and learn about their experience and opinions of the process. We found that the number of co-authored papers in the humanities and social sciences has grown considerably. Respondents reported at the beginning of their academic careers that co-authorship was less common. 74% though now report that today the typical number of authors in their area of study is two or more. This means that researchers are increasingly having to tackle the challenges associated with publishing collaboratively. What are these challenges? One important issue that researchers face is deciding who has made a contribution that justifies them being named as one of the article's authors. There are a number of people who might be associated with a research paper. These could include a doctoral researcher, someone in the early stages of their academic career, their supervisor, a source of advice and guidance, the research grant holder, the person who secured the funding for the research, and other senior members of the research team. Should any of these be included or excluded from the authorship list by virtue of their relative seniority? What about the contributions that different researchers might make to a published project? One might be responsible for the concept and design of a project. Another could look after analysing the data. Someone needs to draft the written paper, and then it might be amended and approved for publication by other members of the team. Which of these activities do you need to do to earn an authorship credit? Once you have decided who should be named as an author, in what order should those names be listed? Tackling this question is actually the most commonly occurring problem of multi-authored papers. It may be simple to decide if a research project has a clear driver or main contributor, but when all contributors have made a similar contribution, our survey found no consensus about how the order should be decided. The most popular option was that all authors should be named as joint first authors, but there was also support for names being listed alphabetically. Perhaps researchers need more guidance about how to make these decisions. We found that only 25% of respondents know whether guidance on authorship is included in the research ethics policy of their institution, and just 18% have received training or guidance from their institution in respect to determining academic authorship. The results of our survey, summarised in a new white paper, raise important questions for universities, publishers and societies about how they can guide and support researchers through the collaborative publishing process. Download the white paper from the Taylor & Francis website.